to use our tech products for good. And like I said, you know, I, I boycott in that I only buy used. I don't live without tech products. I have a cell phone, I have a computer. It's just that I buy used or refurbished computers, so it's easy to get by. Um, but for people who don't feel ready to take that step, you can always use your tech products to pressure our government to use levers that, frankly, I think there's no excuse we haven't used up until this point. So, who are your friends here? This is Sonia Shannon. Hello. Uh, uh, Where are you from? Leader for Congo. I'm a global citizen. Grew up in the military, but right now, DC is my home. And and who else is here with us? I'm Tracy Ranzio from Chicago. Tracy from Chicago. Yes. And Tracy and Sonia, why did you uh, come out and decide to freeze your asses off and go sleepless for most of five days to raise awareness on uh, conflict minerals in Congo? You know, I think we both share similar stories. We just want to, again, reach out and join Lisa in her um, efforts here. So I flew in from Chicago uh, yesterday morning. And really, I've just, the whole journey for me, the last five, six years has been just being, every step of the way, being with the Congolese. So whether it's, they're, they're uncomfortable every day. So I figure five days of being uncomfortable is the least I could do. So that's what brings me here today. It's just, and I was saying yesterday, it's a kind of a, an act of love, I think, just reaching out and showing we, what we can do. And this is what we can do. We can sit out here, be cold, and raise awareness. Basically, I feel the same way that Tracy feels. I feel that the women of Congo have suffered for years. The people of Congo have suffered for over a decade. And if I could do this for five days, for seven days, for ten days, for as long as I can do it, then I'll do it because basically I've had enough. I'm sick of reading about the Congo, I'm sick of hearing about the rapes, and I'm sick of hearing about the suffering. It, it, I feel like what the kind of community that's developed since our conflict minerals protests started back in May, uh, I've been shocked. People have flown across the country to hang out with friends that they've met via uh, Facebook to support activist activities in Congo. Um, you know, it's a really robust network that we've developed, actually. I mean, you've wa I feel like I've, over the last nine months, I've, I've stepped back and watched people emerge as national leaders on this issue.